Tybee Island Lighthouse is a fascinating piece of history. It was one of the first public structures in Georgia when General James Oglethorpe ordered its construction in 1733. Oglethorpe established the 13th and the last British American colony of Georgia in February of 1733 when he and more, more than 100 colonists landed 15 miles up the Savannah River and built the town of Savannah, Georgia's first city. Tybee Island Lighthouse is Georgia's oldest, 1733, and tallest lighthouse at 145 feet. The initial tower was complete in 1736, but was later destroyed by storms in 1741. Other versions of this would be destroyed by storms and the tides up until 1790, when the lighthouse was given over to the federal government. It was fitted with reflectors and candles, and later upgraded to oil lamps. During the Civil War, Confederate forces burned the top of the lighthouse to prevent the Union from using it as their advantage. Reconstruction efforts began in 1866, elevating the tower's height to the current 145 feet. Hurricane damage in 1871 further impacted the lighthouse. Today, the Tybee Island Historical Society has done major restoration on the lighthouse. The lighthouse has been repainted to be black, white, black, but at the time of filming, the paint was all white or an off-white color. The lighthouse lens can be seen 18 miles out to sea and is still active aid for navigation. The Coast Guard maintains the lamp and lens. The white light is never turned off and its pattern is fixed. It doesn't rotate or blink. Next time you're in the area, come to the Tybee Lighthouse and climb its 178 steps and get a view of Tybee Island and the Atlantic Ocean. The Cockspur Island Lighthouse is situated on an islet off the southeastern tip of Cockspur Island, marking the south channel of the Savannah River near Lazaretto Creek. The is islet, often submerged during high tide, consists of oyster shells and marsh grass. Due to conservation efforts, people cannot get on the island, but can view it from an overlook on Cockspur Island. The first brick tower was built in 1837 and then later in 1839. In 1848, an architect by the name of John Norris saw construction. Norris is known for designing several structures in Savannah. The original tower had a visible light for up to nine miles. During the American Civil War, Union forces bombarded nearby Fort Pulaski and the Cockspur Lighthouse was in the line of fire but remarkably, it didn't suffer a lot of damage. The Cockspur Island Lighthouse ceased active operations as a navigational beacon in 1909. Nearly 100 years later, in 2007, it was relit for historical purposes. Today, it stands as the smallest lighthouse in Georgia and is part of the Fort Pulaski National Monument. Visitors can explore the area, learn about its rich history, and appreciate the resilience of this coastal landmark.